Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for coming back to see me at Vent Buddies. Congratulations. You've made it through the first week. <laughs> okay, so today the adventure begins in tackling a topic that's a little bit challenging, and that is uh, homelessness. And what's happening in my area is there's a just a paradise-like park that I used to go to every day and do my little walk in it. And since COVID happened, allowed for homeless people to reside there. And so it's kind of become more like a tent city. So I want to go and document what's happened. It is such a difficult topic because I have so much empathy for homelessness. At the same time, I miss, <laughs> I miss my park. And it's not that I care about walking among them, but there's been some situations where it's been dangerous for people to go there. And you do get approached and you do get kind of intimidated being a woman walking around by herself. So I have enlisted someone to come with me today to go through the park because I haven't seen it in about two or two months or so since it's really gotten entrenched with the homeless uh, population. And I want to do a little bit of a walkthrough and see what's going on down there. I always taught my kids with uh, people who are in need, are hurting, are less fortunate, to be empathetic, to do what you can. Um, my daughter has, is always amazing me and I was on the phone with her the last two times I've been on the phone with her. She is a young girl in college. She doesn't have a lot of money. So basically what she has done is she carries with her a case of granola bars and water bottles. And lives. she lives in the States. She lives in Colorado. And she's consistently approached almost every time I'm on the phone with her by somebody uh, who is in need. And she says, I'm sorry, I don't have any cash, but I can give you a granola bar or water. And every time I've talked to her and every time she's done this on the phone, they've taken the uh, granola bar and the water, which is so cool. I mean, the fact that she goes out and on her meager budget, university budget, goes and shops and does extra shopping for that specific pur purpose and keeps them in her car blows my mind. I did crazy things with my kids when they were getting a little bit too commercialized or too materialistic when they were little. I didn't think it would take in such a way that it has. And uh, some of the things I used to make them do at Christmas time, for example, when I was like, can I have this? Can I have that? Can I blah, 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 you know, material stuff is I used to make them bake and bring, uh, have individual written out letters to uh, people who are in palliative care and to give them something beautiful for Christmas uh, during their time and those little things I guess that I did really stuck and I it, it just blows my mind the things that they come up with to do and to give back and I haven't figured out totally a solution with this yet I don't know how I'm going to feel going down there, but I'm going to take you guys on the adventure with me, do a little bit of filming, show you what's going on, and I'm really interested to know if you've got some situations like that in your city, if you've got uh, homelessness going on, it, has it been higher since COVID's happened, how are you dealing with that, how do you deal with uh, the homeless or somebody who's in need coming up to you for money, uh, asking for money and so forth, everybody handles it differently. I know when I'm by myself in my car, I get a little bit uh, nervous. I think I'm scared they're going to open my door. So I don't tend to do anything with that. As I'm walking by people, you know, if I'm organized, I sometimes do something. But I don't have this whole homeless thing figured out as to how to best help. If any of you have ideas or suggestions, please, I welcome them. Because, uh... It's so important to see everyone in this world and I don't like to also feel scared. So it's kind of a little bit of a, 
a mixed feeling with me because when I'm alone and I'm feeling approached, I'm scared I'm going to get knifed or something's going to happen. But at the same time, I have empathy and there's been times where I could afford to give something and there's times where I can't. Some people don't believe in giving anything because they feel they're just going to spend their money on alcohol and drugs. That's kind of where my daughter's at. That's why she gives food. If they accept the food, she gives the food or the water. And um, at least she doesn't feel like she's saying nothing or doing nothing. I kind of like her idea. Uh, the granola bar, grana the, the, granola the granola bar brigade. If any of you guys think it's a good idea or to like carry them with you in the car and or any other ideas that you can think of that makes you feel like you're participating in the society for people who are in need but yet maybe retains your safety. I'm not sure where you are with this but uh, so my vent is about homelessness today and it's about uh, my park, my beloved park, and how do we feel about uh, the homeless taking over certain areas that maybe those were those are for our city. It was a huge tourist attraction, this particular park, uh, and now and I used to feel so safe to walk through there. It was all wooded and different ponds and animals and lakes and beautiful. Now it's completely a feeling of unsafe and can't walk there anymore. Boo-hoo, I can walk somewhere else. I can go other places in the neighborhood. But um, there's something about the nature in that park that really calmed my spirit and made me feel good and really was a passion of mine, a love of mine. And, you know, just like a lot of things in life, it seems to be gone now. Um, they also had a, a bicycle chop shop that the police found in there a few weeks ago. And ugh, it's just a different place. And it only took a couple months to completely transform it. But I'll show you some of the beautiful parts of it today. And I'll also show you what's going on in there. And if you've got any uh, comments or stories you want to tell me, fantastic. You can always email me at buddiesvent at gmail.com. So to wrap up from today's adventures, going to Beacon Park, checking out uh, what's going on there. Some of the things that I observed is, is it got cleaned up quite a bit. There uh, is less homeless there than there was the last time I went by there. But there's still quite a few. And what they've done is kind of pop tents in different areas of the park and there's a lot more population uh, slightly on the outskirts of the park and you know some of the people that I observed in there really 
I mean, they just did not look like your ordinary homeless people. I saw one mature lady in there. She looked like any other lady walking down the street of Victoria. So I wonder if this is an, you know, a lot of economic strain, what's going on with COVID and it's mixing in with, you know, people that have been homeless for years and then some that are brand new at being homeless. And uh, she was really sweet. She smiled at me, one lady. And then you saw in the footage, I went up to a group of tents and I saw this weird alien looking baby that freaked me right out. <laughs> I had to go up to it. And then some guy was yelling at me uh, from the other homeless camp behind, yelling at me, what am I doing? And I'm not there to be disrespectful. I actually was really hoping to see if I could talk to anybody, if anyone was around, if anyone was you know, interested in telling their story. Because I think that people's stories need to be heard. And so I didn't mean any disrespect in any way, but it can be looked at that way. I'm aware of that. So as soon as it upset somebody, I tried to get out of there as quickly as I could. And so I'm hoping, you know, to hear back from you guys and see if anybody uh, can tell me about their homeless experience in their city and uh, if it's increased quite a bit since COVID and what it's been like. And again, if you have any ideas, um, I thought that it was really interesting that they put together an impromptu music extravaganza in the park and it was mixed with regular people and there was some homeless mixed in and they were dancing and there were dogs and it was actually really fun, uh, fun time. In terms of walking through the park, I think it's going to depend on the day. Like today is a weekend day, so it's really busy and I think it's safer to go there today. I don't know if I'd feel all that great going there at dusk or going there earlier in the morning. Um, but uh, it was really good to see the park again and hope you guys enjoyed the shots from the park. And I hope you're taking whatever time you can to uh, release your stress because uh, Vent Buddies is meant uh, not only as to talk about issues, but also as a way to, you know, expel some stress that we may be carrying within us. And more topics to come. Look forward to seeing you. Hope you subscribe and hit the bell. And thanks a lot for watching. Bye.